Michelle meet and what was your first impression? We met online on Match.com. You know, yeah, I, my first uh, impression of her when I saw her was, you know, she uh, popped out of the car with her overnight bag and she was full of energy and spirit. The, uh, our, the chemistry we had right away, it just we, it was very easy, you know. We, it, we didn't have to really work at it. We just got along really well, so I always liked how easy it was. What is one of your favorite things about your life together now? I have to say uh, one of my favorite things about our life together now is just um, how we always go on these crazy adventures. And we're always, you know, we're always getting into some kind of hijinks, but we always have fun and laugh about it. What's your favorite adventure lately? I would just say the overall adventure of living in New York City this most recent time. Every day was a new day where we saw some kind of craziness and we always just <laughs> stuck together through, you know, good times and bad times. But um, going through our three different apartments and the ceiling collapsing in our last one. So we went through a lot of adversity, but had a lot of fun the New York experience, I'll just say that. So describe to me when you knew that you were in love with Michelle. Jeez, oh, that was our first date. Well, you know, I knew I was falling in love with her on our first date because we saw we were in New London on the beach um, and we saw, we call it the magic fox. A fox ran onto the beach and we couldn't believe we saw it. And just getting to know her. She just has a, a, a gentle soul and a, just this spirit that's kind of like intoxicating you know we her and her father call her like the hurricane you can tell when she's coming like the atmosphere changes and it just like you know when i couldn't wait to see her again and that was very soon that was really early on you know and when did you know you wanted to marry michelle pretty early on i'd say you know at least a, a couple years in you know i just the, the desire to date other people went away it's, it's hard to it's hard to put in the words you just know it's right when you get along with somebody you have your own language you know, you say stupid jokes that anyone else in the world would roll their eyes at, but they think it's hysterical. It kind of goes back to what I said before, just like once I got to know her and, you know, it, it, she's got a heart of gold and she's sweet. She loves animals and selfless and, you know, just cared for me. So, you know, once I saw how she was compared to, you know, how I've dated other women in the past who are maybe not so warm, it's her warmth, you know, that just kind of makes you want to be around her. What are your three favorite things about her? She keeps you, keeps me on my toes. She comes into a room, she just commands attention, and you know, you get caught up in it. And um, I just, uh, I love how she's, she, she just cares for others above herself. She loves her family, she loves animals. Her, uh, her wild spirit, um, her warmth, and her, um, she's a lot of fun. <laughs> I know. Tell me about when you proposed. How did you decide when and where? What were you feeling? What was your process behind proposing? Well, I had a couple different ideas in my head, but it, I don't know. Something just locked in for me. We, we always like Montauk. And um, so I said, you know, I want to do something special. You know, I, I, made the, I had made the moves to work with her father behind the scenes to get the ring in the fall. And I got it. And then we drove out. Now, I, I wanted to propose on the beach at sunset. And, you know, sunset comes early in the winter, but she, um, you know, she was a little curious. She's like, why are you rushing out so much? I'm, you know, <laughs> rushing it out there. Yeah, I, I just want to get out there. You know, I want to get out there. So we got out there and, um, yeah, just that uh, we stayed at Gurney's and proposed on the beach, and you know, it was perfect. And, you know, so I got down <laughs> on one knee on the beach. And these people, these girls at the spa or something at the hotel behind us saw us and they were like cheering us on. What are you most looking forward to about marrying Michelle? You know, the next step, uh, starting a family, it's symbolism of it, and you know, just, um, you know, happy to be doing it. All right, it. and is there anything when Michelle's watching this video that you would like her to know right now? <laughs> I love you, have fun, behave yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs>